Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Born Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today I've got some information to share with you. Now somebody commented this, I went and had a look to try and find you know to, to prove it, to see if there was any evidence. And it's true. Wildcat at Frontier City has been removed from the website. Now I, I again I could be looking too much into this. I could be looking way too into this. But it's certainly very interesting, especially so soon into the tw at the end of 2020. I think if there were, if this was going to be a replacement for 2022, I think they would have removed it from the website like summer 2021, because usually that's the time that you get the speculation. But it's very interesting. It's removed from the website now. I mean, it's probably getting its website refurbished. Probably. I mean, I'm not going to read too much into it. So I would take the information from this with a pinch of salt. But it's very interesting. Now, before I go any further and talk more about what I found and sort of talk about the facts and stats of Wildcat, for those of you who don't know what it is, uh, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. You know, are you going to look too much into it? Are you going to be like me and take it with a pinch of salt and move on and just wait to hear anything else in the future? Um, make sure you uh, click the notification bell as well. Subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and half a million views. So make sure you please get there, uh, get me there, because um, then we we'll get closer and closer to a million in the next couple of years, maybe. And um, for now, guys, let's go more into detail about this. Let's, you know, I spoke a little bit first to the other. So basically, before I go on about facts and stats about the round, I'm going to talk to you about what I found. So. I got a comment from someone who's a lo I, th I think he lives near Frontier City, and he was like, "Wildcat's been removed from the website. You know what you think? It, it, you know, is Wildcat going to get RMC'd? What are you thinking?" So I replied to him, "Oh, that's interesting." So what I did after that, after I replied to that comment, was I went online to check on the Frontier website, and I looked at all rides. I made sure the filter was all rides, so it went right down to the bottom and showed every single ride, and Wildcat was not on there. Now, I mean, I could be wrong about this. I, cu I mean, I cu it could just be a website refurbishment, take it with a pinch of salt. But I wonder, I really do wonder if this is the start of potentially a replacement for Wildcat in 2022 or in the future, maybe 2023 or something. Now, again, I could be wrong. I mean, to be fair, they did say that after 2020 season, Six Flags was removing 15 rides and attractions. And I think... You know, some people would say, oh, you know, Tidal Wave at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Six Flags St. Louis will probably... Well, no, not, maybe not St. Louis because that's already been demolished, but the Magic Mountain one's definitely on there. Um, maybe some relocations are on there as well. But Wildcat being removed from the website, maybe Wildcat Frontier City could have been on the list. You never, never know. You could put two and two together and it could be on the list of removed attractions. And Frontier City could definitely replace it in 2022 with a brand new coaster i mean to also to be honest this is definitely signs that we could see the removal of the coaster now i could be wrong again we'll have to see uh but before i go any further let's have a look at the statistics and facts that we already know about ready about this roller coaster so Wildcat first opened in 1991. It's an out and back wooden coaster made by the its, its maker is the National Amusement Device Company, but it was built by Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters. Now this has a length of 2,653 feet, a height of 75 feet, a drop of 65 feet, a speed of 46 miles per hour with a two-minute, 10-second duration. And actually, this is relocated. This operated between 1967 and 1977 at Fairyland Park in Kansas City. Now that, my friends, is a defunct amusement park. That closed in 1977, of course the closing year of the Wildcat there. And it, and it was stood SBNO between 1978 and 1990 and moved up to Frontier City for the 1991 season onwards to operate as Wildcat. Now, this is a hybrid. Um, it's mentioned on Rollercoaster Database as a hybrid. Now, it was designed by Aurel Vazin and Edward Lice. Now, the original two IAD or NAD trains replaced with two PTC trains for the 1999 season. Sometime prior to the 2004 season, one of these two new PTC trains is believed to have been sent to a different park. 
and the Wildcat was modified significantly in order to fit in the new site at Frontier City when it came in in 1991. So this is definitely very, very interesting about the Wildcat. Now, again, feel free to share your thoughts on this. I mean, d I mean, do you think this is a sign? Do you are you going to take it with a pinch of salt like I am and just see what happens? Or are you jumping on the bandwagon already and say, yes, RMC Wildcat 2022, Frontier City is getting a new coaster. Um... I'm kind of 50-50 on this. Like I said, I'm, go I'm going to take it with a pinch of salt. But I think if this is the first signs that Wildcat is going to be RMC for 2022, I'm going to be very excited because I think Frontier City deserves a brand new roller coaster. They absolutely deserve it. And they're one of the parks that I could see getting a brand new coaster. I mean, to be fair, we mentioned uh, months ago, um, and I think this has been pushed back to 2022 now, um... The three rumoured coaster projects for Six Flags. We thought it was 2021 from scratch. It looks like it's going to be 2022 now. In fact, no, I think it is going to be. It definitely is going to be 2022 now. Uh, and that's the RMC project, which is going to be the Raptor for Magic Mountain. We know that's coming in 2022. We know that's going to happen. Um, an SNS follow-up to Max Force. That could be New England. It could be over Georgia. It could be America. It could be St. Louis. And a Premier Rides Coaster project. That could be St. Louis. It could be New England over Georgia. Anywhere like that. Not just those three, though. I think there could also be a fourth one. And I think it could be an RMC conversion. Now, um... But to be fair, it did say three projects. The SNS Forward to Max Force, the Premier, and the RMC. The RMC Raptor for Magic Mountain, I think, was originally 2021. So, maybe the RMC project, out of those three rumoured projects for 2021, now it's going to be 2022. Maybe they're talking about a different RMC because they already planned an RMC Raptor for 2021. Um, and now that's been pushed back to 2022. I don't know. So maybe the Magic Mountain wasn't the RMC project that we're talking about because that's already going to happen next in 2022, not next year. Maybe this could be to do with a conversion of something. And I think with Wildcat being removed from the website, if that is true, it could put two and two together again. So it's one of those things here. I'm turning into Sherlock Holmes of theme parks here, just trying to picture why it's been removed from the website. Again, you look at it both sides. You look at the reason why it could be removed from the website. Website refurbishment. Website was down. Needs a bit of uplift. You know, needs some new photos in the gallery on the website maybe. Uh, needs some statics updating or something. But on the other side, you look at it and think, if it's not coming back on the website, especially going into the new season, maybe this is the end of Wildcat. And maybe this is the RMC time. Because it's already a hybrid. It's already a hybrid. So you get RMC to just... You know, modify the, the supports and the track, it'll be a steel frame and wooden track, or it could just be a full steel coaster. It could literally be a full steel coaster, sorry. Um, it could literally be a full, like, steel. I mean, they could bring in the iBox track, they could bring in top of track and just top of the track and modify the support structure slightly as well. Um, so, I would like to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Comment it down below and I'll reply to every single comment. You know I will. And for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, my name is Coach Shell Coop, living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day. <laughs>